My name is Nancy Myers and I'm the illustrator of this book, which means I drew the pictures to go with author Dory Hillstead Butler's words. Kids often ask me, how do you decide what to draw? First, I read the whole story and I love Dory's stories. Then I start doodling. I do lots and lots of sketches, sometimes more than 200 pages of sketches for just one book. The sketches are really messy, but they help me think. Then I read each page again, and just like King and Kayla, I look for clues. Let's read the beginning of chapter two, using my nose. Dory writes, Kayla turns the pillow upside down and shakes it, no tooth. She looks inside her backpack. She dumps everything out, still no tooth. Hmm, there's a clue. Kayla doesn't just open her backpack. She doesn't just unzip her backpack. She dumps everything out. Dump is a great word. When you dump something, it makes a big mess. So here's my sketch. King and Kayla are looking for Kayla's lost tooth, which is tiny. They need to search very carefully. You see the tooth fairy pillow right by Kayla because that's the first thing she checked. Now they are busy searching through the mess. Next, I send my sketch to Dory and the publisher. Once my sketch is approved, I use it as a guide to draw everything a little neater. I draw with a pencil on a sheet of paper. Then I scan the new drawing into my computer. I add the color on the computer using digital paintbrushes. Dory's final words are added and then it goes to the printer. Then we have the finished book. Another thing kids always ask me is, can we see you draw something? And the answer is, of course, that's the best part. question I'm always asked is, how can I become an author or an illustrator? 
The good news is you are already on your way. So listen to your teachers and keep doing these three things. Read every day, doodle every day, and most importantly, stay curious. Thanks so much and happy reading.